Hi, welcome to my second tutorial on Unity 3D. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a simple clock uh, in different types. The first one is a text form, and then the second one is a graphical form, like a progress bar. So we are facing an empty project here, and we have got, got nothing in it yet. So we are going to create an empty game object. Follow game object then create empty um, after that give it a new name called clock in our case and we are going to need a javascript to control the function of the clock so we call it clock script for simplicity now go back to our object clock click component rendering then GUI text now you can see this GUI text has been added to this object and tap something here like hello world but in the game view you cannot you can see you still cannot see it because we have to change the position of this clock object in order to put it in the camera's range so in this case we can put 0 0.8 and 0.9 now you can see this hello world is shown here. Click, click the play button. We've got it. Um, but this is not a clock, right? So we need to go to this clock script and put some code down here. So we are going we are going to need this function called start. It's a built-in function, and we can control. Um, many things here, like this this one, GUI text, the material, the color, equals color, the black. There are many functions like this, and you need to be familiar with them by looking at the reference on Unity website. Save it. Now the text should be changed to black. Let's try it out. Click play. Um, well, it's still white. It's because we haven't attached this script to the object yet. So drag this script and put it under the clock. Now you see this script is attached to it now. I'll run it again. I click the play. Now you can see this hello world has been changed to black. Um, if you want to change the font of the GUI text, you can import some font from Windows font this folder and drag whatever you want to the project view I will choose this one and now you can see this little icon and drag it to the or click clock object and you can see a font here and drag this font here. Now the font has been changed for our GUI text. And we can see the difference. Now we are going to do some rework for the clock. Go back to the script and add some new variables. The first one is the start time and make it float the second one will be time remaining also float and we under this update function we we'll put down our countdown function which will be defined later and function compile also we need a function called showtime 
through the pan we got left. Also a function that pan is up. This one will notice us when the time is up. So under this start function give a value to the start time. Like 5.0, it means we only have 5 seconds to start with. And in the countdown function, if we calculate the remaining time, time remaining equals start time, subtract time dot time. This time dot time will return the time that has passed since the start of the program. And we need to make a test here. If time remaining is less than zero, it means our time is up. So we will do things like time remaining equals zero and call the function time is up. And that's it. And in this countdown function, we also want to be able to say what's, what's going on. So we call this debug.log and put time remaining equals time remaining. So in this way, by this way, uh, we can keep a record of the remaining time and say if anything is wrong with it. And in the time is up function, we also want to have the debug log function and notice the, the player that time is up. So once the time is up, this string will shown in the console uh, information session. Now we want to do show time function. We need to call it within the countdown function, right before the debug function. So show time here. And in the show time, we need to calculate the current time. So we will need some new variables like minutes and make it int. The other one should be second, seconds, also int type. And a string variable for type string. And how do we know the minutes we've, we have got left? So we calculate the minutes by dividing the time remaining by 60. Um, you need to notice that the time remaining is uh, in forms of seconds. So divided by 60 will tell us how many minutes are left. So the seconds is going to be mod 60 accordingly and the time string the time string here should be the minute to string form plus a semicolon to separate the minutes and the seconds also plus seconds the to string and at the end, we want to add the well, I missed something here. In seconds dot to string, put down d2. And 
This is the string we want to show when this show time function is called. So as we did before, we text the text <coughs> equals time string. Now save it. Say if the text is shown as the countdown type. Click the play button. Well, it seems we got a problem here. So let's go back to the script and say the show time function. Why it's not working? Oh, now you say we put it at the wrong place. So move it before the test and save it and click play. There we go. You can say it's counting down from five seconds. Now it's working. Now we have got a clock that is working here, so let's try something more, like the time is too short, let's make it 120 seconds, so we will come down from 2 minutes, see how it, see how it works. Now you can see the clock is coming down from 2 minutes, and it works. Now, I think this this uh, font is too small. Let's change the size of it. So click the clock object, and in uh, under the GUI text category, find find the font size here. We can change it to thirty two. So you can see this hello world. The sample text. It's much bigger now. Click play. Say this time counting down stuff is also uh, turned out to be much bigger. And now uh, this is about it for this tutorial. And we will introduce the graphical tutorial, the graphic clock tutorial next time. Thank you.